How to use Google Sites to make a portfolio. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will teach you how to use Google Sites to make a portfolio. Google Sites is a user-friendly and versatile website builder that allows you to create and customize your own portfolio website without any coding or design skills. Whether you're an artist, photographer, designer, or a profession now looking to showcase your work, Google Sites provide an intuitive platform to build visually appealing and professional portfolio. In this step-by-step -step guide, we will walk you through the process of creating a portfolio using Google Sites. You'll learn how to choose a template, customize the layout and design, add and organize your portfolio content, and publish your site for the world to see. We'll share some tips and tricks to practice to help you create a compelling portfolio that highlights your skills and accomplishment. With Google Sites, you have the flexibility to showcase your work in a visually stunning and interactive manner. Whether you want to display images, videos, projects, or written content, Google Sites will provide you a tool to create a portfolio that reflects your unique style and professionalism. Now, as you can see right now on our screen, we're currently on the Google site. Now, if you don't know how to access Google site, you can simply open a new tab and search Google sites on your search bar. And you will be able to see this first link over here. You're simply going to open this and you will be able to access Google sites as you can see here. Now, we're going to give you a quick tour. This is recent sites. This is where you're going to see all the recent websites that you have created over the time. You can check out if it is owned by anyone, owned by me or not owned by me over here. The not owned by me will be where you will see shared links to you, shared sites that is shared to you as a person or as your Google account. Those types of sites that has been shared to you will appear over here. Now we could go back over here. If you would like to edit or like delete some websites, you could click on the three dots. You could remain, rename, remove, or open in a new tab over here. Now, as you can notice also in this top section, this is where you can start a new site. And there is also a template gallery. We can check out the template gallery. In template gallery, you will see different templates for Google Sites that would help you in different situations. For example, you would like to create a website that focuses on events or or help centers or even a project you will be able to see related templates over here and you could choose from the different templates available in this section now there isn't much templates available here unlike on other websites or other website builder they have more templates but they also have a very good templates as you can see here and for today's video we will be focusing on portfolio now there are two different portfolio templates that we have over here we have this one which will we will open in another tab or we're going to open this for now the first one we're going to check out and then we're going to check out the other portfolio that we saw earlier now after clicking the portfolio or after clicking the template we would be redirected to this page over here and this page this is where we will be able to edit our portfolio as you can see here this is the template that we have the template shows that this is the introduction section a picture of yourself or anything you would like depending on you your name over here on the top this is your navigation page or navigation bar below here you could select your work and you could for example upload images in this section you could upload like a presentation a photo a video of your project and as you can see this is like a gallery of your portfolio and like your email in this section Basically, this template shows you the possible or a possible portfolio template that you could use. It is completely free to use our, it is completely free to you or up to you not to use any templates. It completely depends on you. And you could easily create your own portfolio without using any templates. By going back here on the homepage, you could click on blank over here and you will be able to create your own homepage over here. As you can see, this is the blank page. If you would like to create your own portfolio and like you already have an idea and you don't like any of the templates, you could start here and we're going to show you the different elements or different blocks that you could add to your page. Over here on the right side, we have very simple elements that we could add. We have the text box, image, embed, drive, and different content blocks over here, basically like layouts to help you lay out your different things. For example, we're going to go with this one. 
and as you can see you could add photos over here a title and a description over here it's easy to add content blocks because they will be able to assist you with how you would like to arrange your things now to delete something like this to delete a section of your page you simply click on delete over here on the left side just like that you can also add some collapsible group table of content image carousel button divider spacer social links placeholder youtube calendar maps docs slides sheets form and charts over here depending on how you would like to present yourself how you would like to present your portfolio you could make use of all these different templates or different elements that we see over here giving you an example for example i would like to showcase my photography skills i could put uh image carousel here and add some images over here and we could select image over here or upload an image directly to our google sites over here we're going to check out google images for now or photos and we're going to search for example uh photography just random photos we're going to choose to upload over here uh we're going to go with this one and this one over here just to show you how the carousel would work and insert and as you can see it is being uploaded over here this is our carousel now you could move the elements around just like this as you can see there is like a blue box behind and you could center it just like that and then you could move and actually make this smaller if you would like just like that or make it bigger or even make it wider if you would like just like that i'm going to center it and you could change the different image by double clicking it once again you could also make this taller just like that and you could also delete this if you change your mind by clicking on the delete button you could add more things over here like i said you have buttons table of contents anything you would like to add you could also click on pages over here right now this is the only page this is the home page you could click on or this you could click on or hover over the plus button and you will be able to add like a menu section an embedded page a new link or a new page over here for example we're going to add a new page we're going to add this as an about us about us section or about me just like that and you could have some advanced option over here like a custom path if you would like but we're going to go with this one over now and as you can see we have another page over here this is the about me section and as you can see here also it will automatically add a navigation bar on the top the more you add the more you will have another navigation bar over here as you can see now as you can see here also as you observe there is this header banner over here if you would like to remove this you could click on header type and you could change it to cover as the entire page banner title only or a large banner just like that you could have it a title only and then you could like get this you could minimize this just like that and you could move it around if you would like this is our simple example and then you could drag this just like this and you could move them around similar to our template that we saw earlier and you can simply add whatever you would like using the different elements over here depending on you you could add a text box just like that and have whatever you would like as a message now going back we would like to check the other portfolio template that we saw earlier clicking here and we're going to check out the photo portfolio now this is for photography i'm assuming a portfolio for a photographer and as you can see this is how the portfolio is being shown we have the different portraits studio sports aerial winter ocean over here is giving different categories stuff like that and you could actually use this template if you would like and then you could add like additional information if you would like you could duplicate this and you could drag it on the top just like that and you could delete this section stuff like that and you could add like a content block on the top and now you have another content block more content block just like that you could edit the templates and add more information about it you could also see the pages over here the pages section and you have themes over here on the right side if you would like to change a theme for example we could go with vision and it's going to change the theme over here you could also change the color just like this and each theme has different styles as you can see different types of fonts and depending on how you would like to have your presentation be presented you could change it over here you change the colors stuff like that you could also change the font style if you would like now after editing your portfolio you can simply click on publish over here on the top right and like you could enter a web address anything you want and we're going to wait for it just like that and you can simply click on publish and your website is now being published and successfully just like that we have successfully published our paper our website and as you can see this is the live preview of our page
And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.